Hey there, everybody. Gideon's Tactical here doing the rapid review for you of the Kershaw Knockout. New to the market, 2012. End of 2012, we're looking at this. This is absolutely a knockout by Kershaw. I have very small little tweaks that they could do, and this would probably be the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end of all models of Kershaw, in my personal opinion. Quick specs for you, we got a total length of 7.875 inches, so just under 8 inches total length. We have a blade length of 3.25. We have, it made, the blade is made out of Sandvik 14C28N stainless steel made in the U.S. of A right there we have handles that are machined aluminum closed length is 4.6 inches weight is 3.6 ounces ladies and gents the kershaw knockout and uh i, I this is just a blade that i have such i can't i gotta switch this out and you know test out other knives but i this is going to be one of my go-to edc blades because this is just an amazing amazing knife the reason being that it had this is the ideal blade shape for me aggressive drop point design so it has amazing belly strong tip stronger in my opinion than the kershaw blur and i'm going to show you side by side of the blur because these are very similar but stronger tip than the blur this is the blur up here but just awesome belly, amazing belly, full flat grind. We love some full flat grind. We got a wedge up here, kind of probably get rid of some of the weight. But uh, just awesome blade. It is pretty thick blade. You can see it's definitely thicker than my thumb. Nice pronounced thumb studs that when it's closed very far away from the body of the, the handle scales so that you can purchase them really, really well. No complaints with those thumb studs at all, slightly above the the handles themselves we got a finger flipper as well with their speed safe open assist whips out with authority every time you open it Whoosh. loving that wicked sharp out of the box pillar partly pillar sorry construction with zytel spacer in the back aluminum scales have a little bit of machining in them frame lock with a knockout, and that's why it's named that, a knockout, and this has this new subframe is what they call it, a knockout of stainless steel in there, and that's how you get the lightweight at three, under four ounces for such a large blade like this. Just awesome. The lockup is super strong. Purchases almost more than 50%. No wiggle left, right, up, down. One of the best pocket clips around. Loop design, but very strong loop. You're not going to bend that. Ride super deep, paracord, lanyard hole, tip up, tip down, left or right, totally ambidextrous blade. Really the only complaint I have, and I wear large size gloves, and just the contour to my hand, the ergonomics are amazing on this, regardless if you're carrying it that way, or reverse grip. And I'm going to call this civilian tactical. I wouldn't give this necessarily to a soldier for tactical, but for my self-defense, with this lockup right here, there is no jimping, and I would really like to see that, but this is great lockup back here, and I could definitely do a couple good stabs like that, and I can just choke up, slice. Man, it's just awesome. So that's the rapid review for you guys. Check out the in-depth review. I'm going to talk a lot more about it. Uh, here's the blur, by the way. Sorry, I'll just throw that in there really quick. If you had to ask me between the two, knockout every time. Knockout's a much better knife, in my opinion, than the blur. For a couple reasons, you can check out in my in-depth review of the Kershaw knockout. So thanks for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I will see you out there.